which of the following is a paired with a sinus of dura meter so here we have to understand the paired venous sinus these are the sinuses that are seen between the layers of the dura meter okay so yes the options are cavernous sinus superior petrosal sinus and transverse sinus so uh, let's get an idea through this particular illustration so if you see here you'll be able to understand that this is going to be your cavernous sinus now this cavernous sinus you can see one is on the right side another on the left side that means these are two then we see the superior petrosal sinus that goes towards the transverse sinus okay so here you can see this is the right part of the superior petrosal sinus and this is the left part so these are going to be the paired ones then you see the inferior petrosal sinus so this is the right part and this is the left part of the inferior petrosal sinus so yes going back to the question cavernous sinus superior petrosal sinus and the third one is given as the transverse sinus so if we see here this is going to be the transverse sinus so this is the right part of the transverse sinus same way this is going to be the left part of the transverse sinus so all the options which were asked in the question that is your cavernous sinus superior petrosal sinus transverse sinus all these are paired and that's why we are going to have all of the above as the correct answer now i should tell you some important uh, functions of the sinus and i should know the tributaries and the outgoing or the drainage of the sinus okay so first i'll just talk about the incoming channels and here incoming channels basically of your cavernous sinus in the cavernous sinus you will be having the incoming channels by the mnemonic you can remember this as obm okay so o is basically your veins that are coming from the orbit so what are the veins here the superior ophthalmic vein inferior ophthalmic vein and then central vein of retina so these are coming from the orbit so that's why it is mentioned o that means these veins are going to the cavernous sinus then we have b now this b means here is the brain so some of the veins will be coming from the brain and what are those yes one the first one is your superficial middle cerebral vein superficial middle cerebral vein or the inferior cerebral vein okay then we have the third one that is m and f means here as the meninges meninges so from the meninges you'll be getting the sinuses actually the drainage uh, the tributaries of the sinuses actually so there will be sphino parietal sinus that will be coming to the cavernous sinus and another will be middle meningeal sinus middle meningeal sinus these sinuses are also going to form the uh, basically the incoming channels of the tributaries of the cavernous sinuses so that's how we can remember from this figure o b and m and these will be coming to the cavernous sinus and you can see here that these are the paired sinuses right after the cavernous sinuses you must be able to see the superior petrosal sinus and the inferior petrosal sinus this is superior and this is inferior right now these sinuses okay these sinuses are going to meet at a point and from here they are going to get the drainage from the transverse sinus okay so same here transverse sinus now this transverse sinus gets the uh, drainage to through the straight sinus here also uh, the transverse sinus which is on the right side it is get going to get the drainage from superior sagittal sinus so now this can be an important question here or difficult question right transverse sinus get the drainage from 
superior sagittal sinus while the left transverse sinus get it from the straight sinus so that can be something that can be asked in the exam right another thing we should know the outgoing channels of the cavernous sinus outgoing channels of cavernous sinus that means what is the drainage where it is going to drain right so the outgoing channels yes we have already seen the superior petrosal sinus then we have the inferior petrosal sinus and then we have the superior ophthalmic vein and this is basically your emissary vein and this emissary vein is basically a valveless vein and this particular vein is responsible for the infection to travel to the brain and can call can cause brain infection or the cerebral infection so that is an important point that we have to remember here and i remember in my army dental corps exam this question was asked okay so this is something uh, very important so we'll see the another view angle here so you can see this is the superior sagittal sinus inferior sagittal sinus and these two sinuses are meeting with each other with the straight sinus and there is a confluence point here and then you will be seeing that the occipital sinus would be coming here at the confluence point uh, this thing and you can also see the transverse sinus here and that is going to get confluence with the sigmoid sinus and here you can see this is the jugular foramen from where the internal jugular vein is going to come right so this is the inferior petrosal sinus that is going to go to the internal jugular vein right so this is the whole scheme but if we uh, just quickly uh, understand the sinuses so there are eight paired venous sinuses and there are around uh, total 23 sinuses are there so eight are paired so it will be around 8 into 2 that is 16 and then rest 7 are going to be your unpaired so total number of sinuses venous sinuses are 23 so this can also be asked in the exam so yes out of these cavernous sinus superior petrosal sinus inferior petrosal sinus transverse sinus sigmoid sphenoparietal petrosquamous and middle meningeal sinuses are the paired ones while others are the unpaired one so the correct answer is of course we have already discussed that is the cavernous sinus superior petrosal sinus transverse sinus all these are going to be the paired sinuses of the dura meter